smoke. Man, it's your boy, artist. Era the gap too deep. Are you Milan? Here, Milan. Your girl, Flamey Gina. Artist Auntie Pig. Or Lou. Ebony, aka Ebony, with an I. I'm from the Big Head Radio Show, and I'm with the King Teeth Network, huh? What's good? It's your boy King Teeth from the King Teeth Network, and we are at location, specifically the Westside Production Studio. Shout out to this guy, Greggy Westside. Yes, sir. So follow them at Westside Productions on IG, right? Yes, sir. Uh, you can follow them and you can check out their website at westsideproductions.media, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, check that out and you can check out these amazing interviews right now. When I had my old page, um, uh, Big Sean, a fake dude, I forgot the name now. You know what I'm saying? They say we get a memory you do. But I think his name was Chris, and he had that fake Instagram with the blue check mark with a million followers. And he like, I'm Big Sean's manager. We trying to bring you out to Michigan, Detroit, and we want you to do this song what? with Big Sean. So I'm sitting here like, is this real? And they called me. I gave them the number. They called me. And then they're like, yeah, we want you to come out, sign a contract. It's just going to be $5,000. Ooh, what we're we'll going to do is show with Big Sean. You're going to be out in Detroit. Ooh, 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 wah, wah. I'm just sitting here jumping for joy. I'm looking at the page. Face look real. Pictures look real. Blue check mark on there. Just fake million followers. Like, I really got bamboozled, let me mm. tell you. <coughs> so I'm all excited. I'm showing my grandma. I'm telling everybody in the way they orchestrated this. Like, them Detroit niggas know how to rob some motherfuckers. I ain't going to lie. Y'all is God smart damn. motherfuckers. Like, they even had it. They like... We got Mike Will made it on the phone. They had a country nigga. Like, yeah, this Mike Will made it. And I'm about to make your beat later. This is going to be big. This is the third. When you call the number, it says, hello, welcome to Plush Studios. I will never forget the name of it. And it's a white lady that answered the phone. Not trying to be racist. Not. It was a, you know, the brighter skin lady answered the phone with a good voice. Hello, welcome to Plush Studios. And we look, no, no, yeah, I was calling for Chris. And it was like, it was like okay, hold the line. They got the music in it. <laughs> No, they don't. So, I, my grandma from Louisiana, so I got that. I got that southern in me. So my grandma, she wanted to talk. Now this was the first red flag. Like I'm ignoring all the red flags at this point. All of Fuck flags, all of that. All of them flags was green because it, it, it sounded. <laughs> it was red. a go. I'm like, damn, this shit really real. I'm about to be red. I'm about to have a time. They die. My time. My time. My time. Dumbass. So wow. the dude, my grandma, like, I want to talk to the man because if I'm helping and sponsoring to this shit, I want to speak to the dude. So I'm like, okay, grandma. So I got on the phone with him. I handed the phone to my grandma. She's like, yeah, so what's supposed to be going on? And he trying to explain everything to her. And woo -woo. So when he got the phone back, he like yelled at me and was like, why you put your grandmother on the phone? You can't do that. You have to let me know. And it's in the third. And I'm just like, my grandma wanted to ask you what was going on. And woo -woo -woo -woo. he was like, yeah, you just. You know, he got calmed down and all of it. was like, yeah, you just, you know, you just can't do that. You just got to let me know next time if it's somebody else going to be on the phone and not you because I didn't really know what to say to her. And I'm just like, at that point, like, I felt a little ick. Like, ah, why are you mad you talking to my granny? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I'm like, all right, I might still go through it because I'm trying to be rich and famous. I'm just young, dumb. La, 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 la. I'm probably like 20. Just stupid. Yeah. It's probably like 21. So my mama was like, I'm going to go with you to Detroit. And she's like, I'm going with you. He was, I'm like, no, I'm not. They want me to come by myself. Second red flag. Why the hell? This nigga a whole red lighter at this point. <laughs> said, this girl is on fire at this on point. On fire. Why the hell would they want me to come by myself? Right. I'm sitting there like, because it's going to be a famous person. They got, they had the whole shit so orchestrated. Like, oh, you know, it's going to be famous people. And it's in the third. And. It's he you guys to sign them scholarship form and we just want you and blah 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 blah. So my mom was like, I don't know, I don't know if he wants you to go. And I'm like, Ma, it's my time, man. Let me go, let me go, let me go. And I took the Greyhound. That was my only time ever taking the Greyhound. Wow. Bus. So my dumb ass put my blue turquoise wig on, my black fur and my fur boots, grabbed my little suitcase and my five bands that I had. Yes. So my dress had twenty five hundred cash and I had the rest on the car. Because hmm. some told me, like, 
just don't have all your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. What ifs? You feel me? And my grandma told me how to record everything before you get in this and the third. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So the whole ride to Detroit was a blur on that bus. I was so sleepy. And I just kept telling myself, like, why am I so tired? I could not keep my eyes open. I slept the whole bus ride, was sleepy as hell. So I, I just woke up there. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm in Detroit. So then I called a dude. I'm like, yeah, where you at? He's like, I got a driver for you outside. So it was a black man that looked like a tall black man. And they was in like a black looking Lincoln car. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, at this point, my stomach hurt. I'm like, because I like no shit wrong. I'm like, it's shit wrong. But like, it looked right. But it's like, feel wrong. It feel real wrong. They got the little sign and everything. I'm like, these niggas put a lot of money in to take niggas money. I'm talking That's about- That's a professional job right here. Professional lick, man. Like, man. for sure. walk in lick. So the dude was like, you want to put your um, bags in the bags in the trunk and get in the front seat? I said, no, I'm going to sit in the back seat with my back. So I'm talking like, bitch, what if you got to like, hop out? So they can choke you out of something. And then you close all of the trunk. You can't get out, bitch. I'm like, no, nah, I'm sitting in the back with my stuff in. So at this point, he sees me like this. Ching, 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 ching. I'm taking all the pictures, right? Now, mind you, y'all ever in a situation like this, take the pictures and send them immediately. Okay. Send them right then and there. Real so shit. take like space in the picture. So you take space in the picture. Card, picture, picture, picture. And don't just let a nigga know you taking pictures. I'm just all dumb and shit. Hey, cheeky ass. Smile, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just in the back of this car and I'm riding. I remember being in downtown Detroit and I'm like, this shit looks so nice. I just see hella lights. And so I'm looking at all these bright ass lights. I'm in my stomach. My stomach's still bubbling like, bitch, something ain't right. Can somebody just tell me what the hell is happening? Oh, we don't know. We're all just waking up. Now, anything you know, like, do you remember anything? I think I was kidnapped. Where is Locke? Locke? Oh, you mean my husband? Hold up, hold up. You better start right there before you say some shit you're gonna regret. Regret? <laughs> She getting real. <laughs> you feel me? But I'm on the phone with the dude. He like, yeah, you about to pull up to the hotel. They literally pulled me up to the side of the hotel. I'm still in the car with the black dude. But I'm talking to the white dude, Chris, on the phone. I never met to see the nigga in person. I'm talking to the white man. This is elaborate, y'all. So, right, I swear to God, the black man, he reached back. He gave me a hotel car key. So I'm like, oh my God, this is real. I have a hotel car key. I'm really about to, oh my God. So then they're like, he was like, yeah, we just need you to give us the money up front before you go up in there and sign this contract. This nigga pulled out a red envelope. I'm like, why I got to give you the money up right now? And he was like, you know, just, you know, make sure that, you know, everything is legit. And he was like, here's your contract right here. Black dude reached back, gave me the contract. So I'm looking at the contract and I'm reading and it's literally like, I wish I could have kept it, but it was, I wish I had it as proof. It's so a whole last contract talking about Big Shine, this and the third. You're going to pay this amount. You're going to get this feature. Woo, woo. Said, talking about the hotel, the fake ass. Man, it shit get crazy. Let me hurry up because my mind tell long stories. Yeah. It's talking about the kind of show the contract. Fill it out. Big Shine, $5,000. You're going to be here. Play studio. This is a room. These two days. Just sign it. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm signing it. I'm just like, oh, I'm signing it. <laughs> In and the back seat. Signed, and he was like, Yeah, I'm still in the back seat of the car on the side of the hotel. He's like, I'm gonna need you to give me the money now. And I'm like, um, uh, why I gotta give you money now? I'm just going to the hotel. So at this point, we asked for the money up front. I'm like, let me put check in a hotel first with my bags up and we'll go to the studio because the white man sitting on the phone. So then the white man called him, and when I look, I'm like, these big shots and the people, why do you got that crack ass Android that was red flag number three? Number mm. 415 for real. He had his cracked ass, old ass Android phone. And I'm like, niggas that's fucking with Big Shine again. Money ain't gonna have no dusty ass Android like that. Mm. So at that point, I'm like, man, I don't wanna get this nigga this money. Something fishy going on. So I'm starting to get out the car. 
I opened the door. I'm like, I'm going to just go put my stuff in the hotel first. The nigga pulled a gun out, put it on the council. He like, no, nah, you going to give me that money first. And then I'm like, I only got 2500 So then he called the dude. And he was like, oh, well, she said she only got $2,500. At this point, I'm grabbing my fucking suitcase and shit. And I'm hopping out of the fucking car. The nigga grabbed the gun, like, give me all that shit right now. So, I'm right here. I'm at the back seat of the car. My suitcase right here. The nigga got the gun. He asked me for the fucking $2,500 money. That's all five, but I mean, I only got $2,500. I swear to God, like, I ain't got a ooh, ooh, My phone in my hand. I gave the nigga the money. I just give it to him. Because they already had it right here in the envelope. I just threw the envelope at him. I'm like, that's it. That's everything I got. I don't got nothing else. I don't got no more money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I run about the car. I'm coming around the car like this. He scarred off and going in a circle. So I'm trying to skeety up and get into this hotel room. Nigga bust a Yui come up on me, snatch my phone out of my hand, and pull the fuck off. What? All this happened in the middle of the hotel. So mind you, while this was happening, I'm on the phone with a nigga like, yeah, I'm about to get my money up front. And the dude, this is a sexy red fat. He got it like, yeah, give, give him the money. Just give him the money. It's all good. Just give him, go to check in the hotel. Just give him the money now. And then that's when I went to give him the money, pull that gun out. And I'm just like, damn, you know, you don't give me that money. I try to get the fuck up out of there. Nigga said, give me all that shit. I'm like, God damn, I gave me 25, like 20, 25 some change. Threw the envelope. I'm trying to scurry off. Nigga pulled off, but then he remembered. Remember, I took all that shit on my phone. Nigga pulled back up. I'm so shook at this point when he scored it before the block. I was like this with the phone. Just like, I'm just stuck. Like, suitcase dropped. I'm like, please don't shoot me. I gave you everything I got. That nigga opened the door. Reached out, snatched my phone, got back in the car, and pulled the fuck off. Wow. So at this point, I'm in the middle of Detroit at the motherfucker hotel, just looking stupid as fuck. So I go in the hotel. I got my car key. Why the fuck the car key he gave me ain't even off to the hotel that we at? Wow. So mind you, I go in there. I'm like, call the police. I just got robbed. I just got robbed. Mind you, I got a fucking blue wig on and the fur. And this, that, and the third. The bitches think I'm a motherfucking prostitute. And I done booked the room at the hotel and the nigga that come took some shit out of my room. I said, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a rapper. Like, what are y'all talking about? They was like, no, because this shit happened all the time. And, and what you said in the room, this that third, somebody came in there and while you was in there. I'm like, man, what? That's the lady behind the counter said. I'm like, man, can I please see your phone and call the cops? Wasn't nobody. I thought the whole hotel was in on this. I thought Detroit got a whole scheme coming. Wow. Out. I said, can I please see your phone and call the police? Because, you know, I didn't have no phone. My yeah. phone gone. And I took one picture of life space, sent it to my friend on Instagram that disappeared and couldn't even save it. I sent it to the wrong shit. Any other side point. So I'm in there like, please, can y'all call the police? Nobody's calling the police. Next thing you know, a big black cop walk in there. Little fat nigga look like the nigga off of Family Matters. <laughs> he just come in simultaneously, this police officer. So I go to the police officer, I'm crying. I'm like frantic. And people yeah. looking at me like, I'm a fucking crackhead. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? I'm like, it's not right. Y'all ain't gonna do that thing. Yeah. Hey, this is my phone. Please help me. Help me. Help me. And they probably like, yeah, if you was up in that room, well, somebody came to your room and took some. I say, ain't never had no room in. I'm like, oh, y'all bitch trying to play me. Mm. Type shit. So I go to the cop. Why the fuck the cop? I'm telling the cop what happened. I know how this guy ride, the car pulled up, they did that third woo woo woo. This nigga pulled out and started taking notes with a fucking brown crayon that he had in his pocket. And I asked him to take me to the police department. This nigga told me I can drop you off at the homeless shelter. <laughs>